want to start off, here's our Snake ID website and where to find it. That's kysnakes.ca.uky.edu. You can also get to it off of our Department of Forestry webpage. Uh, it's, it's linked there. It's, a, it's got a, a box you can click on. And you can just uh, search in Google UKY Snakes and this will pop up. So here is our for first snake ID. Uh, this is a submission and I want you to take a quick look at it uh, if you can tell what's going on here. And, and yes, that is the inside of someone's car where that snake is actually popping down uh, like the rear view mirror. So one of the quick things we can, we can tell right off the bat and what I want you to see if you can identify the snake as you're looking at it. A lot of you probably won't be able to, but real quick, how do we determine this is a threat or not? Well, first, one of the easiest ways to do that is because we don't have a real good look at the head shape is we do have a pretty good look at that eye. And that pupil is, is, tells us a lot. And that's because it's a round pupil and not like a snake-like uh, or cat-like slit. So all of our venomous snakes in Kentucky, because they're pit vipers, have a slit eye versus a round eye with, for our non-venomous. So right off the bat, we know that this snake is a non-venomous species. We don't have to be as concerned it's still a little disturbing and may have caught you by surprise, but you know that this snake really can't hurt you. From there, if we want to know what species it is, there's a few characteristics that we can pull from here. Like I said, we can't get the, the, the shape of the head. Uh, won't tell us much. We don't know much about the body shape. It looks pretty slender. Uh, however, it's not super skinny. We do know it's not really fat, but we can clearly see a pattern and a color. So we can tell that there's a, a saddle-like pattern with uh, a light whitish gray to a dark black is the saddles. And from there, we can actually plug that into uh, the, the ID or snake section in the website, or if you uh, get out a uh, field manual, you can actually use that and determine that our answer here is a gray rat snake. So this snake is a very common species across the entire state. As you can see there in the map, it's everywhere in Kentucky. Uh, it's probably the most common species people will run into. And these guys eat a lot of rodents. They'll eat a lot of bird eggs. You'll see them around your house quite a bit because they're probably going after the chipmunks or mice in your garden uh, or potentially after that robin or dove nest that's on your porch. The key here is they're perfectly harmless. They're actually pretty good to have around for rodent control and you can just let them be and you'll be okay. If you want more info on snakes in general, you always want to ID what you're dealing with as best you can. If you don't want them around your house, reduce those shrubby areas. Keep your grass mowed short. Remember that there's lots of positive benefits for actually having them around. As long as you're not worried about the, you know, the non-venomous side of things, you're fine having them around. They're going to do you more good than harm. And if you need more info on snakes, there's that website again, kysnakes.ca.uky.edu. And uh, there's the launching page. You can see all the different offerings there from geographic regions to understanding all the snakes that we have in Kentucky. I want to acknowledge the folks that did come up with this, and that's Dr. Stephen Price, Andrew Dreyer, Renee Williams uh, in the Department of Forestry and Natural Resources. I think they put together a great tool. And if you have any questions, there's my info at the bottom there. My email is mattspringer at uky.edu, or you can contact us through the Forestry Extension webpage. Uh, and just Google us and you'll find us and, and all of our uh, folks and information are, are listed there. Have a good one.